tell you about a single campaign that generated the most sales for my client. I have a lot of clients, <laughs> but uh, I want to answer the question in a different way because I believe it will be more helpful for you. I want to tell you, give, give you some insights into a, I've got a few multi-million dollar campaigns for clients. I want to just mention a few of the key characteristics of those campaigns. Uh, so number one, the biggest thing is and there's a big idea at the core of the campaign. So uh, we, we oftentimes think of things in a short term. This is another <laughs> tip. Uh, but there's a big idea. So, you know, the uh, the way you've been doing sit-ups is wrong. This is why you can't get a value fact, right? The way you've been saving for retirement is going to make sure you work forever. And this is how you fix it. Uh, specifically, you know, uh, one that's made a whole lot of money is talking about 5G. Everybody's hearing about 5G. And uh, it's a big deal. Your cell phone's changing. But not only that, there's a lot more to it. And there's going to be a lot of money to be made for people who invest the right way. So we've made a lot of money talking about a topic that's on people's minds. And you kind of know everyone has a cell phone. Everybody's going to be switching cell phones. And there's a lot of money to be made there. So uh, campaigns that make a lot of money tend to have a big idea at the core. And it's a big opportunity for the reader in one of the body bank and boo categories, right? It's a big opportunity for them to gain muscle mass. It's a big opportunity for them to have a happier marriage. It's a, it's a great opportunity for them to make a million dollars this year. And so you've got to have that big core, at the big idea at the core, the big opportunity at the core. Same thing that I see a lot, and I see a lot, but use a lot, uh, is proof. A lot of proof. Uh, because people are skeptical naturally. And so the way that you get rid of or uh, counteract, neutralize sales resistance and uh, skepticism and doubt, fear, is with lots of proof coming from third party sources, coming from uh, testimonials, coming from celebrities, you know, who will. Uh, vouch for the reality behind what you're saying. Uh, the more proof, the better. And uh, campaigns that don't have proof, they tend to people often dismiss them because you just sound, it sounds like you, you know hype. Sounds like hot air, and so you don't want to do that. Urgency is huge in the campaigns that have made a lot of money for my clients. There's always a deadline. The deadline drives action, and you'll find that if, you, if you're not using deadlines in your marketing, you're you're not moving people to action because people they, they just want to put things off till later. Naturally, that's how we are, and so if you can give them a hard deadline, if you don't act by this time, you'll miss it out. So inherent in the campaign is urgency. Also, like we were talking about before, you want to have urgency in the idea. So even if you didn't buy from me. You're going to have to deal with this reality sooner than later. Um, so urgency is important. Now, evergreenness. This, I think, is something that a lot of businesses miss. Evergreenness in your campaigns allow you to make money for a longer period of time. We tend to think of, uh, let me do this campaign and make money this week. Let me do this launch let me, and make money this month. But if you create with a big idea that has staying power, you can make money for years with the same campaign, the same copy. Uh, and that's how you make, <laughs> that's how you leverage your uh, assets. Your marketing, your, your copy is, is an asset if it works. And so if you add a level of evergreenness, you can make money for a long time. Keep sending out the same promo every three months or finding new audiences to send the same promo to. And you can make a lot of money. So I found, you know, you can make whatever amount of money that you make in that week or two weeks. But if you can use it again, you wait three months and roll it out or you put it in your autoresponder and you can, whenever you get new, uh, new subscribers to your email list, you can send it, give them copy that works really well and it keeps producing money for you. Or you find affiliates, you find partners, you find JVs and you can use that, that asset, the copy asset in those channels and keep making money. There are copy examples of copy that work for years. I've got a couple work for two, three years. You don't have to do anything to them except send them out again because they're evergreen and they keep working. 
going to keep making money. So I want you to start thinking about that. Uh, and then uh, the last thing I want to say about the campaigns that make a lot of sales for my clients is multiple touches, not one email to one sales letter or one video and giving it up. <laughs> you know, single shots are a bad idea. You almost always want to extend the length of time that you're making an offer and multiply the number of times that you're telling your audience about that offer. So, you know, I like to send email, send seven emails before a thing even happens. If you can't, if you can get away with it, sometimes you, you can't do that. Sometimes it's three emails, make an offer in three emails, not just one. Make it, and then after, you know, if you have an event or a webinar or whatever, you have follow up for the, the next week or even two weeks. Uh, so multiple touches gives you multiple opportunities to get the money. 